So, what you will see is that this man is trying to get into first receiver here and the width between one and two. I'd say we're myriad, you know, we're, we're a bunch of different, you know, disparate parts, but we're coming together and I think that's where our strength lies is in the, is in the variety we bring. You know, every guy's got a different story, a different background. Uh, you know, it's America, right? Everyone's from, from, from somewhere else, but they come together under one banner to make something great. So, that's probably our strong suit. That's probably our identity is that, that multicultural aspect. You know, it's just been every day competing, every day you wake up and you don't take it off. You know, you, you look up to your nutrition, you look up to your body, you do what you can to put yourself in the best position to compete. And then it boils down to two weeks really of just, you know, competition, straight up man versus man in camp. If you start trying to play the individual one-on-one -on -one game with them, you bring them into it. It is that simple. And you lost your way in a few reps when you started to do that. Rather than pull back, get your discipline, just do what we need to do. I just got to get that, that balance right between walking the, the line of being the, you know, snapping Jack Russell at their, the, at their ankles and just sitting back and, and having the quiet word. And, you know, everybody talks to you about different ways you can talk to people. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. The reality is every one of these boys is different. Every one of them needs to be spoken to in a, in a, in a different way. And some of that is going to be sharp words and some of that's going to have to be supportive words. There's the 12 playing and the 13th man out there, but... We've got like 24, 25 guys that are pushing in that camp, that are getting everyone prepared and pushing everyone to the right levels. And out here today, you see all the mixed veg boys making sure we do our job and keep them prepared, even though we're not going to play in the World Cup, we'll definitely be having, having a part in that. I think if anybody outside looking in would have picked the 12, that's the 12 they'd have picked. But that's testament not only to them having raised their game, but also to the 12, 13 that have been in camp and the fact that they've raised their game and pushed the boundaries. And these boys have responded. A number of them have had some adversity this year in terms of dealing with injuries and fighting their way back. That's given them perspective, that's given us context, that's allowed other guys to get flexibility in positions. So, you know, the, the cocktail is looking decent. The ingredients are all here. Um, it's just whether we can mix well and, and drink well. I've seen the behind the scenes of how hard everyone's been working and what they've all been putting in. We've seen from Las Vegas that we know that they can, when they put their minds to it, they can definitely achieve it. So all the preparation's done, all the training's done, bodies are where they need to be. We've just got to stick together mentally and just stay in the fight. A few things to still get right, but that's not a bad place to be. Good luck, Rudy. Stay in touch, man. I will, I will. Certainly, it's been an accomplishment. Um, a bit disappointed I didn't make it happen. You know, obviously, you, you want to get to the, you know, the finish line, but definitely, it's it's changed me for the better as a person this, this, this journey the past year. So, can't be too disappointed. Almost kind of emotional now, being able to go home. Um, whew, I don't know. It's just, it's gonna be fun. I mean, a lot of family, a lot of friends. Uh, for me personally, I know uh, there's just going to be a ton of people. It's it, it feels good to be able to play in front of family and friends for me. Kind of lost for words now that it's here. I, I, I think I held it together pretty good throughout the week. But now, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited. The sevens is just you don't know what's going to happen. It's just so exciting to watch him every day. He always thinks of me and the kids and his teammates because and his country, because that's what he mainly plays for. Sometimes I don't really realize it, because it's just like, he's like normal to me, he's just my husband. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I guess it's like a big thing, but to me, he's just maka.
good to be home for a bit and actually get on tour and finally get to be around the opposition and, and what it feels like to get that last taste one more time before you know we, we actually get into it Friday night. The competition has started because Wales and Zimbabwe are going all out for 14 minutes to get a shot at us. And we need to be battle ready and to play the game and feel the bruises, felt the bangs, got the cuts, feel the pain to go out there and do it. There is pressure on me um, and I'll have run through those kind of mental reps of what we could do what we're looking for, who brings what, what combinations allow us to do certain things. There are no egos on the, on the starting seven, there are no egos on the five that can come on. And It doesn't matter who starts and it doesn't matter who finishes, it's the fact that as a 12 they try and get the job done. We know who we're playing, Wales have just beaten Zimbabwe, so it's time for me to step back into the background now and just let these boys kind of take the ownership that they need to do. Um, and then hopefully we can kick on. It's all calm thoughts now. I like to stay in the moment. At the end of the day, it's a rugby game. It doesn't matter where we're playing, who we're playing, at what level you're playing at. But for me, it's it's a kid's game and it's always ever gonna be a kid's game. Whether it's a business or you're playing in the backyard down the street with your buddies. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna play hard, you're gonna play fast, and you're gonna show respect for their team and that's what it's all about. Masterclass from the USA here and their opening game at the Rugby World Cup of Sevens. Pretty sweet stadium, it's the first time I've been on the field here. Yeah, I think that the crowd really fueled us in that big defensive stand we had early in the second half. Um, I think our uh, subs did a good job of keeping the game out of range. And you can feel it out there, that's for sure. The, the crowd's pretty electric, so that'll pay big dividends for us going throughout the weekend. You know, you just get in the zone, you're like you locked in, like. You seeing your opponent, you lining them up, like you looking at them, like you know, we've been out here working too hard for too long. You know, at the end of the day, I just feel like when you're playing a team, and especially when you're trying to make it to the quarterfinals, the final, you can't let nobody take anything out your pocket. You got to be ready for anybody at any moment. Seven's demanding, freaking physically exhausting. So when you get real tired and you're you don't think you can go anymore. You hear the crowd chanting USA or just cheering for you guys. It gives you that extra gear. It gives everyone that extra gear. And I think you saw that in our defense right there. Like Just the extra efforts, the double efforts, triple efforts. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. That's what it takes to win these games and win this tournament. I think uh, my mom, my girlfriend, my, my family, my nephew, my, my brothers, my dad, everyone. I mean, I, I wish I actually knew how many people were actually here, <laughs> but uh, that, that was for all of them and for, you know, all the sacrifices that they've made for me. I know all of us have missed some pretty important family moments. Our families have missed just as much as we have, so to be able to have all of them here and sharing in that victory with us is, I don't know, you know, it's something that we're going to tell our, our grandkids and, and their kids and, you know, the stories that'll last forever. Again, you can't afford to switch off with this mob because Burgess and those boys are always looking for an opportunity. Great second effort here as well again, Max, in, beautiful. Working with Stevie, you create the opportunity with your speed of threes off the floor to give Danny the try. We need to replicate those butterflies, we need to replicate that attitude, we need to replicate that desire, we need to replicate that determination, we need to replicate that spirit. You cannot expect it just to happen again. You have to do everything and more that you did yesterday today. I know there are some of you who are from the area and that will be a particularly <coughs> special moment, but for all of us, I think it's gonna be special being out there and representing our country, our friends, our family, and, and each other. And if we look at this 12, the 14, 
the squad in general. I think it's one of the most talented squads um, that I've ever been involved with the US 7s team. Yeah. Uh, but that talent counts for nothing unless we're willing to go in there, put in the hard yards, put in the hard work and bring the attitude and that hunger to go out there and fight for every single tackle, fight for every offer, fight for every breakdown and fight for each other. Because if we're willing to do that, the talent comes to the fore. We've blown out the cobwebs. We've had game one, we're now flying into game two. Let's enjoy it, boys. Thank you, Shake. If we can control the ball, then we're in business, and I think that's the key. It's, it's, it's if we're going to come out on top of this game, we're going to have to control the ball because you know, England, are, England are a dangerous team when, when they have possession. So that's the challenge. We're under no illusions. Um, but do we have the, uh, the armory? Yes, we do. Do we have the, the tools to get the job done? Yes, we do. Um, we just now need to do it. We're having just a little uh, Danny Bear support party here. A little tailgate. Oh, so we got some food, we got some drinks. And a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of past players that we played with. They're all coming out to cheer on Danny Bear and the Eagles. Uh, we're very proud of Danny. Danny's done a great job. Represented uh, the Barrett family uh, all the way for a long time at uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral here at high school in the city and Cal Berkeley. And uh, now for the U.S., it's been, been an awesome little ride for us. He was a little whiny as a kid, but he was the youngest of three boys, so we used to just trying to get the scraps that we were leaving behind. Hey, hey, he'll tell you, man, we'll, we still got him. Yeah, we'll take him down. Pretty cool to have a whole stadium cheering and to know that one of your brothers is on the field and they're cheering for him and he's one of the star players of the team for you. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, nothing but pride for him. It's, it's great. He's, I mean, he puts it all on the field, you know, he's, yeah, he's the man. They stand by each other and they watch out for each other and have each other's backs. And they all say that. And Coach Friday's, I think, done an amazing job with the team, with the different dynamics of all the players. They're all so different in personality and background that he could get them all cohesively working together. Okay, here it is, the biggest game of the day on the men's side of things. The USA up against England. Yusefo. Yusefo goes himself. Martin Yusefo, back inside, there's the skipper, Hughes, gets it! Gets it away for Norton, Norton with the shimmy, and go, Dan Norton. It's an immediate reply. USA counter, great work from Pinkman. Oh, the home team, Ellery has a sniff short side, goes to Mitchell, Mitchell. We've got numbers in around here, England Burgess is explosive, but this time around he shuffles it across the park. Lindsay Hay drifts it wide for Glover. Norton is out there asking for the scene, getting it, and putting his team in front. Burgess breaks the locals' hearts! 
It's a touch of absolute magic. It was a. It was a. It was a bitty performance against England, and we should never have been in that situation. And then you know, the, the dealing with that disappointment of the World Cup being over in the quarterfinals was, you know, it's tough to take. I feel like the boys, we put it out on the field, but and we gave it everything we had. I just think, think we came up short in a few of the moments that mattered. But you know, it. it, it, it we didn't quite execute what we needed to execute, and we didn't quite do what we needed to do, and that allowed England in the game. And they came up with that moment, and that moment was pretty special by them as well. Uh, and that, that robbed us of, of, of us of any other, any future moments. Like it didn't go the way we wanted to in the end, but it was it was still a success because we put on a performance that our country was proud of. The crowd is incredible, man. Like, I mean, we play in some of the top stadiums across the world and to play in front of the USA crowd for a country who really doesn't know too much about rugby and to see all those people come out, people aren't just screaming your last name that's on the back of your jersey, people are calling your first name and they genuinely care about you and, and love the game of rugby, it's crazy. They love us so much and all I want to do is just play for them. This is just so fun playing for them. You can just feel the energy from the crowd but it's actually your own. It just like makes it a whole like a whole another level because it's like it almost just goes through your body, you know, and it just energizes you and gets you uh, ready to go and, and motivated to put on a show for them. You know, feel you, you almost feel like you're uh, obligated to put a performance that they would be proud of. I was telling my wife when I'm watching TV and I see NFL and I see that crowd, she's like, "Dang man, I'd be so sick of playing in front of that kind of crowd and to come here and play." In that stadium, and see that much crowd, I felt like I was in the NFL. Because growing up, I wanted to play in the NFL. So I mean, just to play in front of that and see a lot of Americans, and just to see that crowd in, Nor in you know, general. I don't know. It was just amazing because I felt like I was in the NFL playing when I was really playing rugby. So I mean, it was fun. It gave me a lot of goosebumps. But I mean, who wouldn't want to be playing in that kind of crowd, especially yeah. in America? So special to be on home soil and. To be in the crowd, you can kind of feel that, you know, excitement and that, you know, the lift of every time we got, you know, on the field, everyone's standing up and, like, everyone's standing the whole game, and it was just a different atmosphere, and I think it just shows that rugby in America is taking off, and I think if you get that on TV, and I think if people watch that, and there's a lot of people there that have never seen rugby before, I think it's, you know, the sky's the limit. Don't get me don't get me wrong. Like we wanted to win the World Cup, but um, you know, now that that's over, we just start building into qualifying for the Olympics. The World Cup is the World Cup. Whatever happened happened. It sucks, but um, we got the Olympics now, and with these boys, man, I know we can go far. I believe you can achieve it. It's possible. I'm a lot more determined now because you know, I mean, going into World Cup camp, you know, we. We really wanted, everybody really wanted to make the squad. And, you know, to get that feeling of, you know, running out in front of your home crowd and into a big time tournament, you know, not just a World Series tournament, but a big time tournament, it only makes me wonder how great it could be to run out in the Olympic Games. And so now I'm, I'm locked in, you know, tunnel vision uh, for that moment. And, you know, whatever comes, I'm ready for it. We've still got to break that top four. And we've still got to consistently get in amongst those tier one rugby nations. Um, you know, the American sporting public or the rugby community expect that and want that, and we do. You know, I think probably sometimes people forget how difficult it is to do it. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a brutal game, the bounce of the ball. Didn't go how we wanted, if I'm honest with you. Um, but that's the nature of the game as well, you know. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose, and it wasn't our time to win. You learn so many lessons through the game that you translate to 
general day-to-day -day life. You know about how I react under pressure, how I, how I view myself in you know times of disappointment and times of success. Uh, but mostly it's about how to interact with, like I said, guys from all different backgrounds, you know, and how to see from their perspective and empathize with them. That's probably the biggest takeaway for me is, you know, becoming brothers with these guys who I never would have met in everyday life. And I'll have that jersey hanging up on my wall for, for the rest of time, without a doubt. It was amazing, you know, hometown, uh, family and friends, being able to score in front of them was, was, uh, was pretty cool. It was kind of a, a dream that I never had that came true. <laughs> a dream that I've always wished I would have had that came true. It's been a, a long time coming. I, I don't get to see him too much because they travel all over the world. And uh, it's pretty awesome to have all the fans come out and check him out and watch him play. The big bearded Californian who seals it for the USA. Never ever dreamed that we'd have a boy in the Olympics or in the World Cup or playing on a stage in front of our family and friends. It's it's so wonderful. It's that our family can be a part of this as well. My godson, Benny, was turned one to be back in, in town for his first birthday. Um, you know, it's pretty awesome for, for him to be out here and, and checking it out and, you know, hopefully getting a taste for the game for himself and get him to fall in love with it just like, uh, you know, I did, his dad did, and the rest of his uncles and aunties and everything.